This video has been done for educational purposes only and I do not support any form of drug making. So this is probably one of the hottest chemicals I've ever made on this channel. And I don't mean that type of hot as much as I mean that. FBI, open up! It's totally not on the Drug Enforcement Administration drug precursor list and it totally didn't star in one of the most popular TV shows ever. And finally, to drive the point home that I'm insane, I will be smelling it to truly experience the stench of rotting fish. And this chemical's name is mephalamine. It's mainly used as an insecticide, however it does have other uses. To make this evil compound we're gonna need formaldehyde and ammonium chloride, in a ratio of 2 to 1. I didn't have ammonium chloride on standby because honestly who does and I've had to make it from neutralizing a solution of hydrochloric acid and ammonia. So here I've got 11 grams of wet ammonium chloride and I'm just gonna assume that it's like 10 grams dry and here's 20 grams of formaldehyde. So I've added 11.5 grams of wet ammonium chloride into the flask. And then I've washed the opening of the flask with water. Then I've added the formaldehyde. Now we can set it up for a distillation. So I've assembled a vacuum distillation apparatus. And it looks like this. The heat was turned on and I've waited for it to get to around 100C. Once it was around that mark, a reaction started happening between the ammonium chloride and formaldehyde. First, both of them reacted to form an intermediate compound called methylenamine hydrochloride and water. Then that intermediate compound breaks down into methylamine hydrochloride and formic acid. Formic acid can get decarboxylated into CO2 and water, which will just escape the reaction. However, formaldehyde usually has methanol added to it as a stabilizer and to piss me off. So the receiving flask will most likely have some methyl formate in it. Once it reached 100C, I started pulling the vacuum. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it The reason why I'm using a vacuum distillation is because we can drive off the water from the reaction much faster than atmospheric pressure without making any side products. These side products is mostly trimethylamine and dimethylamine, which form when you heat it even further. However, do keep in mind that they still form even when you keep the heat to a minimum. Also, for some reason the whole thing got brown and I have a feeling that's because I screwed something up. So I've let it heat at 104C for like 20 minutes and then I went to play some Fortnite Okay, so eventually there was not very much liquid in the flask, so I've let it cool to room temperature. Nothing crystallized and I was kind of worried because some should have. So I've put it on the hell machine and I started boiling it until there was not much of it left. Once there was like 20 ml, I pulled it off the hot plate, and this is what crystallized out. At first I thought all of this was ammonium chloride, however I did see some spiky crystals which totally looked like mephalamine. So I guess this is our crude mephalamine and now it's time to separate it. As an editor's note, I have actually just noticed that I was pouring a bunch of water into the beaker on the right. And that's me pretty much underestimating the solubility of mephalamine. Mephalamine is extremely soluble in water and because I've basically waterboarded all of it, most of it just dissolved into the solution. So yeah, don't be like me and only wash with small amounts of water. That's why in the later steps I will crush it out, however, for some reason when I was writing the script I forgot to add it at all. After pressing this to filter out faster, because I really have no patience, I've decided to recover some mephalamine. Okay, so now to crush out the sum of the dissolved mephalamine, I'll be adding some acetone. Mephalamine is insoluble in acetone, so as acetone's concentration rises in the solution, the crystals start to form. However, do keep in mind that there's still some of that annoying ammonium chloride in the precipitate, so we have to purify it even further. The whole thing was filtered, and then once again I've put it into the same flask and I've decided to evaporate all the water. Finally, the last 10 mils of the solution ended up on the hell machine where it was boiled to the point where not much water was left. Here's me adding some DCM to the now crystallized crude mephalamine and the DCM will basically wash out any trimethylamine that was produced in the process. The dick chloromethane was decanted and finally these are beautiful crystals. And now what you've all been waiting for is me smelling the mephalamine. Wikipedia says it has a stench of rotten fish, well then, let's see about that. This is some sodium hydroxide solution and if I dump a little bit of this, which is mephalamine hydrochloride, it should turn into mephalamine and I should smell some stench of rotting fish. 
Okay, let's go. There is some strange aroma on this, but I don't really. Yeah, is it detectable? It smells like tuna. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, I, I got it, I got it. Jesus Christ, Wikipedia is right, oh god. Thanks for watching, subscribe to get a cookie.